Hey everybody, Wonder Hussy here in a beautiful, strangely green alpine section of Death Valley. Believe it or not, I'm in Death Valley National Park. I think I'm at the edge of it. Uh, I guess this would be like the south. Oh gosh, I don't even know. It's the Greenwater Valley, if you know where that is. Anyways, it's really green up here. It's March 27th, uh, so it's early spring. We're at elevation. I don't know what the elevation is, but gosh, you can just see how beautiful this meadow is here behind me. And cruising along, just sort of exploring. I don't even have anything pinned on my map. I'm just, well, I'm just burning up gas. <laughs> and guess what I found? This really cool little stone cabin. Now there's not a whole lot to this site, so I'm not really gonna make a full video about this. It's gonna be a quickie. And while well, you can see that I didn't even bother shutting off my ignition, but I thought it was cool enough that I should at least give you guys a quick peek at what it looks like. So back down there is a green water valley. And then on that side, gosh, I don't even know what's down that way, but I'm gonna find out. But right here in the middle is this really cool little lonely miners cabin, I guess. Uh, looks like people have camped out here. There's a real nice campfire ring. I was just going down here because I saw this metal pole and I thought it might be a mine claim. I don't see any paperwork or anything. Just some old rocks. What's this? Hmm. Thought it might have been a sign or something. Anyway, these, well, it looks like there were two cabins back in the day. This one here is uh, pretty much kaput, but you can see the rock coming down the side of the mountain behind it. They just kind of scooped that rock up and piled it up and made walls and cabins out of it. Look at this one. I mean, this is the more busted of the two. And you can see we are at elevation because there's a big old snow patch. <laughs> Yikers. And me and my flip-flops. Well, at least I don't have to worry about snakes. Uh, I don't know any snakes that are out and about when there's snow on the ground. Anyway, this would be an awesome place to camp. There's a, like I was saying, a real nice fire ring built up here in front of the main cabin. And this main cabin, oh, I just saw a piece of glass down here. I thought I should investigate. What is this? Oh wow, it looks like a piece of a really old bottle. R and something, wow. That's cool, I'll put it inside the cabin. I already went in here and I noticed that there is, there's a table with some artifacts on it in here. I'll add it to the collection. Anyway, yeah, this cabin too, you can see how they built it. They just, they didn't even chink these rocks with anything. These rocks are just stacked up, balanced on top of each other, which is pretty impressive. There was a wood frame for the door, and then it looks like, well, at one time, there was a wooden roof. That actually didn't look like it was too bad, but now, yeah, the whole place is collapsed, full of rocks, patches of snow, grass growing up. <laughs> Yikers. But like I was saying, there is a table in here where I guess people put stuff that they find on site. I'll add my glass to it. This is a really cool old enamel cooking pot, I think. Really, that looks pretty friggin' old. Look at this old frying pan. Some old miner fried up his bacon and beans in that pan. Here's an old can that probably had his bacon and beans in it. That looks like a paint can or an oil can or something, and a gas can. Other than that though, not much in here. There weren't any windows. It was just stone walls, like I said. Nothing in between, just <laughs> big rocks with little rocks jammed in the cracks. And gosh, it must have been cold. I mean, it's. I mean, it's the end of March and it's friggin' freezing up here. So I can imagine it's a long cold winter up here. And well, the wind would cut through each one of those little gaps in the rock, I would think. Anyway, like I said, it's a quickie video. It wasn't much to the site, but gosh, it's just such a beautiful location. <laughs> I had to share it with you. I'm gonna keep driving up the road because I'm not in a hurry and just see if I can find anything else in this area. Stay tuned. <music>